What's up there workforce? In case you have engaged, today is going to be a little bit different content day because we're going to be centering on PAX East 2018. It's a big news weekend, so the versus post may get pushed just depending on kind of how often we're really slamming y'all's feeds. But this post is about Dark Souls Remastered coming to the Switch. Now, Dark Souls, if you haven't played it, is an incredibly awesome, punishing, fun game to enjoy. And the one thing about it is I don't want to enjoy it kind of in my own personal little dungeon where I'm just in this game room late at night playing by myself. I want it on my Switch. And so we have the remastered one coming to the Switch May 25th, 2018. Uh, so this is going to have... Everything you know and love about Dark Souls, but each playthrough, if you haven't played it before, each playthrough is going to be something different, something new, something challenging. There is going to be up to six players with dedicated servers as multiplayer. So that will be able to be played online. It says online, so that doesn't look like uh, that's going to be limited to kind of local play or anything goofy like that. Uh, it says the total number of players to be determined, so that could kind of expand beyond there. It just says up to six right now. Uh, then there's a sense of learning, mastering, and accomplishment. So basically just Dark Souls. They are not changing anything. Um, some of the websites don't seem to be working for pre-order yet, but Best Buy has it at $39.99 as I checked. So it is nice to see that it's not some crazy $60 purchase. I think it's going to be very easy to get 40 hours worth of content out of that. Brian and I always joke that things need to be a dollar per hour of content. So I don't think this game's going to have any trouble getting that out of you, especially if you're somebody that has a chance to take your, twi your Switch out, you know, take it on trip, take it on vacation, sit in the car with it, sit in an airport with it. Um, that's the great thing about the Switch is you can enjoy it at home, but then you can take it with you. So it's a lot easier to come by those gaming hours. So I think this is a great pairing. I hope the game really holds up on Switch. I imagine that it's going to kind of hurt my thumbs. So you're going to want to have that pro controller for a game that you're going to play this long if you don't already have that. That's just my personal recommendation. It's a lot easier on my hands. Uh, but other than that, I'm just excited to see this ported over and, and remastered for such a great console. Uh, touche Nintendo on continuing to land partnerships that in, uh, just impressed me at each stage of the game. So I don't know if this surprised all you guys. Sound off in the comments below if you saw this coming, but definitely something to be excited about this May. Uh, this has been Chris with work to game Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you next time. Thanks so much for watching this video. If you want to check out any other videos, <laughs> you should click over here. <laughs> and then we've got uh, like some kind of vlog thing down here in the corner. <laughs> and then we've got like <laughs> subscribe. Have you? Yeah, like that's really, you should totally do it. This was a complete <laughs> disaster. <laughs>